Today in this video I'm going to show you how to fix American Megatrends, please. Enter setup to recover BIOS setting, press F1 to run setup. When I start the computer the same problem is showing please enter setup to recover BIOS. Settings press F1 to run setup. In this video, we are going to take a look at the procedure on how to replace the CMOS. Battery in case you get an error like press F1 to continue or press F1 to run setup when. Starting Windows computer, even though you have the devices connected, if you have a problem with the computer hardware, such as hard disk or keyboard not. Detecting, ETC, this method will not work. This method will only work if the computer detects all devices such as keyboard, mouse, ETC and my PC all my devices are being detected here, and yet you see the error such as press F1 to continue, or press F1 to run setup and BIOS. Setup. When the BIOS settings come up you will click Advanced Mode. After clicking the Advanced Mode then go to the Boot menu bar. Then go to Wait for F1 Error option to see if it is enabled, it should be disabled. Although you can disable the error by adjusting the BIOS settings. After disabling, save the BIOS settings by pressing F10 key. The computer will restart after saving the BIOS settings. You will see the same message shortly after starting the computer, and it is not the solution to this problem. You actually have to fix this. So to fix permanently press F1 to continue or press F1 to run installation error. You need to replace CMOS battery. Here is the CR2032 battery number that you should purchase from an electronics store and computer repair shop once you have the new battery with you. Disconnect all computer connections and open the case by unscrewing the bolts. There you can see the motherboard, and here is the CMOS battery which helps to operate the correct date and time, and also stores the system hardware settings. Now take the tester or screwdriver and gently push to the side to take out the current CMOS battery. When its CMOS battery comes out, just replace it with the new CMOS battery and close the case lid. Install the new CMOS battery. Insert the battery in the same way as I did. Connect the AC power cord to the power supply and then turn on your computer. Now, you should try to boot and don't forget to reset the time and date in the BIOS. Settings. Again, simply go to the BIOS settings in the same way as before and go to the BIOS settings and set the date and time and press F10 on keyboard and save the BIOS settings. After that you can turn off the system for a while and turn on the computer so that there will be no problem or no error. If you have difficulty understanding something, please comment in the comment box. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.